GenStat offers many different summary statistics to describe your data and several types of graph that you can use to explore the distribution of your data and check for unusual data points. In this video, we're going to look at how to produce a number of summary statistics, such as the mean, quartiles, and standard deviation, and how to produce graphs to visually display our data. We're going to cover this material quite quickly, but you can always pause the video or go back and watch parts of it again. First, let's open a data set. I'm going to select iron.gsh, then double click to open this file in a spreadsheet. Our data set is a collection of soil samples collected from six sites. Measurements have been taken of the iron content, Fe, in parts per million within soil samples of roughly equal weight. You can see some summary information for a specific column by hovering the mouse over the column heading. This tooltip shows us the minimum, mean and maximum values of the column. If I move this spreadsheet out of the way, you can see more summary statistics for the data in the output window. The output window updates every time commands are sent to the GenStat server, so this summary data was produced automatically when we loaded the spreadsheet. For the iron column FE, you can see the minimum, mean and maximum values, the total number of values, which is equal to the number of rows in the spreadsheet, and whether any values are missing. There are no missing values, which means there are no blank cells in the FE column. Note, if you're following this tutorial step by step on your own copy of GenStat and you can't see the output window, click the Window tab at the bottom left. Now double-click Output to bring the output window to the front. We've got our output, but now the spreadsheet has disappeared. All your spreadsheets and open windows will be listed here, so to bring one to the front, you just need to double-click it. Let's take a look at some of the options on the Stats menu. The Stats menu contains many basic and advanced analysis options, but today we're just going to look at summary statistics, so we'll select this menu. This window lets you calculate a number of summary statistics to describe the contents of a variate. You can also produce some useful graphs of your data. The available data field already contains the FE and weight columns from our data set because GenStat recognised these as variates that can be summarised. We want to analyse the data in the FE column, so double-click this to move it into the Variates field. Your chosen summary statistics will be calculated for all the variates you put into this field, so you could also move weight across, if you wanted, by double-clicking it. I'm only interested in the summary statistics for FE, so I'll highlight weight and press delete on my keyboard to remove it. I want to see summary statistics for each site the data were collected from, so I'm going to put the cursor into the By Groups field. This action updates the available data field with all the factors in my spreadsheet so that I can select how to group my summarised data. I'll select Site so that GenStat will produce summaries for each of the six sites. If I'm going too fast, remember that you can pause or rewind this video. Now I need to select which summary statistics to produce. I'll deselect the missing values options, but select the standard deviation option. If you click More Statistics, you can select additional summary statistics to be calculated, such as the standard error of the mean, and the skewness of the data. The Graphics section provides various graphs that can be used to explore the distribution of the data. We're going to select Histogram, Box Plot and Dot Histogram. Now click Run. The Graphics Viewer opens at the front 
and behind this, you can see your results in the output window. Here we can see the summary statistics we selected for Site 1, Site 2, Site 3 and so on. If I double click the summary statistics window to re-display it, you can remind yourself what options we selected to produce this output. Now let's take a look at those graphs we created. Click the graphics button on the toolbar to open the graphics viewer. Here's the dot histogram for site 6, site 5, site 4 and so on. I can display the next graph by clicking the next or previous buttons. Here are the histograms for each site, all displayed in the same window. Lastly, we told Genstat to draw a box plot for each site. You can resize the box plots using the slider on the toolbar or by left clicking and holding while dragging the mouse. Each box plot has a central box spanning the interquartile range of the data with a horizontal bar drawn across the box at the median. These whiskers, the lines drawn vertically from each box, represent the variability beyond the interquartile range. The whisker from the upper quartile extends to the largest data point that falls within 1.5 times the interquartile range above the upper quartile. Similarly, the whisker from the lower quartile extends to the smallest data point that falls within 1.5 times the interquartile range below the lower quartile. Outliers, data points that fall beyond the whiskers, are plotted with an X and the spreadsheet row number. More extreme outliers are red, with less extreme outliers shown in green. Looking at the box plots, we can see that sites 1 and 2 are producing consistently higher results than the rest, and site 3's results are generally lower. If you want to produce a different set of summary statistics, simply double click the summary statistics window on the left to re-display it. Then select your options and click Run.